Hello everybody and welcome to my Minecraft world. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and I have spent the better part of the last 8 months trying to make this world as beautiful as possible. Now while it is looking absolutely fantastic even if I do say so myself, I've been wondering what I can do to make it look even more incredible and of course I eventually ended up with the idea of using a few texture packs. So I scoured the internet looking for the best suggestions and I came up with a little list. Now bear in mind that this world was built on vanilla so it wasn't built with any of the texture packs I'm going to use in mind which sometimes does cause a few issues. However, we just want to see what they look like, get an idea of what we can expect from them and here we go. And the first texture pack is called Better Vanilla Building and as you can see nothing immediately jumps out at you. If we look at the blocks themselves, they do have a little bit more depth to them. There's some subtle changes here and there and some of the texturing on some of the blocks like the die right here especially has been changed. But other than that, there's no jarring differences. There's nothing that absolutely screams at you. Even our farmhouse over here looks pretty normal. There are a few things here and there that are different like the barrels for instance. There's a bit of a texture change on that. But overall, Everything is looking pretty normal. And over here in the village is where we find our first jarring difference. And that is one that I find with a lot of texture packs. The brick and granite combination no longer work together. And I am not entirely sure what's going on here. That's supposed to be a stone block with a quartz pillar on top of it. But somehow it gets a little bit confused apparently. But if that's the biggest issue we have, then there's not much to talk about. Everything is looking relatively normal and it's actually looking pretty good overall. And if we come up to the castle, we can spot a few more differences. For instance, this cobblestone texture over here looks a little bit different. But the biggest one I can see is the fence posts, which now have a bit of the bark texture on them. And I really don't mind that at all. It is especially useful if you're using the fence post to build little trees like that one over there. But other than that, it is looking relatively normal. It really is just a bit of a vanilla add-on. And I think it's absolutely perfect if you're just looking to add an extra something to your world, something out of the normal, but aren't looking to make any drastic changes to the textures themselves. I don't really like the coarse dirt, but let's see what it looks like with some shaders on it. And there we go. That is actually looking very, very good. I must admit if somebody was to slip this onto my game without me knowing about it, it would take me a while to figure out what is different and why are you in the water again. And the village looks pretty good overall except for the roads and if we look at the iron golem we can see he got a few tattoos. It's looking pretty good there buddy. But now the acid test. What do the villagers look like? And this is an important question because as you'll see later on, sometimes people have the noblest of intentions and it just doesn't work out. However, the villagers are looking normal. We've got a bit of a texture added onto the terracotta over here, which looks quite nice, I must be honest. And overall, most things are still recognizable. There aren't any major differences, which makes every building of mine look odd. So, good job. Next up we have the John Smith Legacy Texture Pack and already you can see a major departure from vanilla. Every block has been reskinned, everything has been given its own unique look and immediately I don't like the path blocks. This is looking extremely busy, I think it's a little bit over the top, but most of the other blocks aren't looking too bad. I especially love these trapdoors. And everything has a unique rustic look to it, which I think would suit certain situations very well. But others, like if you were for instance building a modern house, it wouldn't translate well at all. So let's go take a look around. And I really don't like the sugarcane texture, however this I love. I think the stone textures are phenomenal and if you were building in a cottage core type of style, this would look absolutely amazing. In fact, I might even do a build specifically for this texture pack just to see what it looks like, just to see how awesome it can really be. Now, as I have mentioned, this was all built in vanilla, so there was no thought given to this texture pack. But look at these doors. They are absolutely phenomenal and you can even see through them. Just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got some nice furnaces and well, um, 
I think the less that is said about that, the better. But as this was built in vanilla, you can see the cobblestone can get a bit much. It's not as bad in vanilla, but in this texture pack, it gets a little bit... What the heck have we... No. No, 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 no. I... I don't like that. And now that I'm over the shock of the creepers, I can finally look at the windows. And just look at this. Every color of window has a different sort of lead glass pattern to it. And I think when you've got as many windows together as this, it gets a little bit overwhelming. But if you use it in a smaller scale, like for instance, just the window of a house, it would look absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just look at all of these. They are gorgeous. And I definitely think I want to use this to build a one-off house just to see what we can come up with. But let's carry on and let's see what else we can find. Of course, the bricks and the granite no longer work together. And just look at that. That is a lovely little potted bush. And I definitely think a single chicken leg instead of an entire chicken makes a lot of sense to me. But it's time for the acid test. What do the villagers look like? No, just, just no. I'm getting out of here. But let's see what it looks like with some shaders. And overall, it is looking pretty decent. I really do like the effect that this texture pack gives. And if you build a world from scratch with this in mind, I think it would look absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't look too bad on my vanilla world as it is, but there are a few things that I would change. Now the animals have gotten a tiny bit of a makeover. The chickens don't look too different. My sniffers seem to have been left untouched. Let's go take a look at our cows. Unfortunately, we don't have any bees to compare, but let's see what the cows look like. And that's a bit of a difference over there. Uh, I think that cow was trying to eat my soul. And after seeing the cows, I just have to see what the... Oh my goodness, these skeletons are terrifying. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna squash them. So, let's move on to texture pack number three. And this is Misa's realistic texture pack. And things have a bit more realistic texture to them. I'll give them that. However, there are a few issues that I spot immediately. But first... Let's see how the skeletons have fared. We're here already, so we might as well see what they've come up with. And... Ah, feet. Let's just hit the lever and... Hey, that actually looks pretty cool. Not sure if it was just the armor. But I have questions like, why am I flying around with a corn dog? A happy corn dog at that. And what the heck are these? I'm not too sure. The pod sole kind of looks like moldy bread. But to be perfectly honest, I have never seen Podsol in real life, so I'm not sure how accurate this is. I won't comment on it any further. The biggest issue I have is with the stone textures, which sort of seems like they were designed without the other variants of the block in mind. The cobblestone, the bricks, everything seems to have been designed without taking a look at the others. And as a result, they don't really fit together very well. And I can see that my favorite brick and granite pathways also no longer work together. But putting all of that aside, it's time to take a look at the most important part of this. And once again, the villagers. Why? And with my eyes cleansed by a thorough bleaching, we can look at it with some shaders and I love the mossy cobblestone texture there, but it just doesn't work with a stone. Even the wood over here seems a little bit over the top. There's there's just too much happening with the wood blocks on the floors. The rest of it actually looks very good. And I definitely think if you're using this texture pack from scratch to build something, it will look phenomenal. Over here, as you can see, larger patches of stone look very, very nice. As soon as we start mixing in the brick and the cobble, it just no longer gels. But this is absolutely amazing. I love it. This is just a terracotta floor and it's looking pretty good. And the redstone torches also don't look like they need an R rating, which is good news indeed. On to the next. Oh my sweet summer child, what have you done? Why are there green diglets everywhere? 
So this is the Retro NES texture pack and it popped up on a few lists as one of the best texture packs and I really, I'm struggling to see why. I'm struggling to understand why you would use this. I mean, is, is there any point to it other than having something odd on your screen for five minutes? Is there any real tangible use for this texture pack? I, I just don't see it. And having thought about it for a while, perhaps if you were building a Mario specific Minecraft world, which let's face it is extremely niche, this wouldn't really fit in any Why is the bamboo pink and blue? Bamboo is not pink and blue, why, why is it? Anyway, the grass blocks look pretty awesome, I do like those, and as I said, if you're building a Mario specific world, maybe it would work, but that tree is an abomination. Let's take a look over here and, and I actually like the water. The water is looking pretty good. I love the way that it flows and pink and blue bamboo. I can't get over that, but let's look at the water again. The water is good. All I can say about this is that whoever designed this interface hates everybody and everything. I mean, every time you open a chest, you get stabbed in the eyes by this blinding blue abomination. And I think it's safe to say that I don't like it. And finally, here we go once again to the villager hall to see what this has in store for us. And I still don't understand why you would use this texture pack, but obviously there must be a demand for it. Seeing as when the original developer stopped developing it, it was taken over by another developer who is still updating it to this day. Now I don't have high hopes and yeah. Anyway, you can find the link to this texture pack in the description below. You can also find links to all the other texture packs that I've used in this video and try them out for yourself. And once again, I've got my corn dog in hand because I still can't believe this. Really developers, why do you do this? Please don't. But there's only one solution for this, and I think it is justified. Now, if you haven't guessed already, this is a copy of my hardcore world. This is not my real hardcore world, so don't worry. This is perfectly safe and completely justified. And there we go. We have looked at four different texture packs. Would I use any of them instead of vanilla? I think the answer is a resounding no. I would not swap out vanilla for any of these. Better vanilla builds came the closest, but even that, I don't see any real point in exchanging it for what is already there. There's just not enough difference and the others just have too much of a difference. So I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Until next time people, bye bye. Yeah, totally justified.